All right, I'm going to talk about how to get realistic models uh, that are vaguely familiar and also attractive with Midjourney. So uh, this is a little trick I found. Someone, this isn't mine. Someone taught me this, but I can't remember who. <laughs> if you are that person, you should remind me, and I'll give you attribution. But one of the problems that you have in general is you say a photo of a person it actually does generate pretty good stuff. I think Midjourney in particular is really good at generating. A diverse set of images but I have a little trick uh, which is you want the models to be I think attractive but also you don't want to say a photo of Emma Watson or whatever because if you say if you want to use that in a in context you say a photo of Emma Watson uh, as a pirate if you want a picture of a pirate like Emma Watson is a good way to make that person like Hollywood attractive, <laughs> but uh, that can be a real problem because that is potentially violating her image rights and uh, you can't really use her likeness. But uh, there is a trick uh, to doing this. And so we're just going to wait for these generations to happen. The model, by the way, is very good at generating pictures of Emma Watson. This is why a lot of AI generation tutorials use her as an example, because it has a lot of training data on her. That's her as a pirate, and it looks, I think, a little bit too close to her. Although Midjourney does do some stuff, I think, in the back end to change your prompt, so you're not getting an exact replica, which is, I think, smart on their behalf. But here's my trick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use prompt weighting, and I'm going to mix a couple of celebrities. This is an example here. I'm going to, I'm going to say a, a photo of, yeah, as a pirate add this in here and then so I'm what I'm mixing and I, I think this actually works pretty well if you mix two two different genders as well a photo of Matthew Perry with two the uh, twenty percent and a photo of Jennifer Lawrence with eighty percent as a pirate uh, so let me just see what that comes back with so I'm using a real mix of two different celebrities and what you get tend to, what we tend to get at least is when you mix two celebrities, they look vaguely familiar because you recognize some of the features, but it's not attributable to either celebrity. So uh, while that's running, I'm going to do the opposite as well, just so you can compare. Now we're going to dial it to 80% Matthew Perry and 20% Jennifer Lawrence, uh, Lawrence as a pirate and see what we get. Okay, there we go. So that is like that picture in particular, I think is pretty interesting because it looks a bit like Jennifer Lawrence, but is not really attributable to her. And then equally here, this is interesting. This is you know, going to be more male because we have more Matthew Perry in there, but it's very different. Um, we could we could try this as well with Emma Watson just to compare the results. And I'm going to say a photo of Matthew uh, Perry, 20%, and a photo of a Watson as a pirate. So you can mix those two things together. And look, this is pretty cool. I so say that th these images in particular, I think are like, they look like they should be a Hollywood actor, <laughs> but they're not, they're fake. And you can get some really cool results. The, the other thing you can do is not just mix genders, but just uh, have two um, different people of, this, of the same gender, but like Amber Heard in here, I give a dash of Amber Heard to Emma Watson and see what it looks like. This one, interestingly, looks a little bit like the girl from Game of Thrones. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, this is this is a technique that I use all the time. I very rarely prompt for a specific celebrity. I mix them together and uh, you get a much better result, I think. And it's uh, more unique, more non-attributable. So really helpful technique. And once you see it, like you'll be using it everywhere, hopefully. And uh, here we go. This is the photo of Amber Heard mixed with Emma Watson. I think it's, it still looks Hollywood, but it's you can't tell which celebrity it is. All right, hopefully that's useful.